Well, holy hell, does the misogyny stack up when I take any time away, which is exactly why I need to take time away. It's a vicious cycle. Anyway, the story I want to share with you this week comes to us from that notorious bastion of misogyny, Bob Jones University. Now, they're far better known, I think, for their racism than for their sexism. They didn't drop their ban on interracial dating until the year 2000, so you can see why. But they're also famous for the ankle-length skirts on their cheerleaders, and they didn't start allowing female students to wear pants to class until 2018. And unlike their support for segregation and their ban on interracial dating, they've never bothered to issue an apology for any of the misogyny. Of course, with groups like Bob Jones University, sometimes you can learn as much from what they will apologize for as you can from what they refuse to. Case in point. A couple weeks ago, they were falling all over themselves in their efforts to apologize for a fashion show where Jesus wore a dress. That's right, the controversy started when design student Matthew Fox set about creating Bible-inspired designs and featured three models, one designated as Eve, another as Satan, and the third as the J-Man himself, dressed in a crown of thorns and a blood-red wrap coat that, while not actually being a dress, looked kind of like a dress. According to one scandalized observer, quote, he looked like a gay man. It is blasphemous, end quote. A group of equally shaken trustees and administrators were quick to respond to calls for an official apology. So this ostensible institution of higher learning put out an official apology where they expressed regret that a Jesus model looked, in the estimation of many, too feminine. The apology read in part, quote, In response to this egregious event, the executive leadership and board of trustees acted immediately. Our administrative and academic leadership, along with our art and design facility, have taken full responsibility to correct these problems and are making significant changes to the program itself. End quote. Now, unfortunately, they didn't go into any details on how they plan to butch up Jesus. And for the life of me, I can't even imagine what action their board of trustees even could take on this. But there you have it. 73 years to apologize for a ban on interracial dating. 73 hours to apologize for Jesus looking fabulous. Anyway, there's obviously plenty more misogyny to go over, but this is a tub I've got to kind of ease myself back into a little bit at a time. So with the promise of even bullshittier bullshit next time, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.